Hello, what's up everybody? My name is Turd Peterson. Today I'm going to do a setup tutorial and kind of an overview of the new uh, Virtual Control Panel that was released not too long ago. So you get a couple of accessories with it. Uh, it comes with three cables, um, the standard 5-pin to USB, a long 5-pin to 5-pin, and a short 5-pin to 5-pin. It also comes with these three um, sticker labels for your customizing your buttons on your CM2 throttle as well as the new control panel. So the first thing you want to do is hook up the USB cable directly to your computer to your new control panel. Launch your Verpal software and pick the control panel from the list and then go to firmware and update the firmware to be the same firmware that's on your CM2 throttle. Pick the new uh, control panel and then pick slave mode from the list here. Create new profile and then of course save everything. Alright, next you want to disconnect the USB cable from your computer and then grab your little 5-pin uh, to 5-pin slave cable. Either the long or the short depending on how you're going to be mounting it. I'm using the short one here. Hook it up to the output of the control panel and then cover up the USB port as we will no longer need it. Hook the other end to the auxiliary port of the CM2 throttle or the CM2 base, depending on which one you're setting up here. And then, of course, hook up the USB back up to your computer to the USB port. Also, keep in mind, if you plan on mounting this to your Verpal desk mount, you'll need to purchase this bracket separately from Verpal in order to do so. Also, before I forget, the connections are not on the bottom by default. They're actually on the top. To change that, remove the front six facing bolts and then you can rotate the entire assembly so the connections are on the bottom for a nice clean install. So next we're going to relaunch our Verpal software, our configuration software, and we're going to select the CM2 throttle and we're going to be linking the control panel to the throttle now. Uh, pick what type of modifier you want on your five button switch and then pick the VPC control panel. The world. Oh, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't save. Pick the control panel and then create profile. Now the two are linked together, so of course the next step we're going to do as soon as it gets done uh, beeping at me here is to calibrate the axis for all the new buttons. So I'm just going to go through here and calibrate all my axis real quick and move all my levers and dials. And then of course when I'm done, I'm going to click Save Calibration to Profile. So that pretty much wraps up the installation and get everything set up on the unit. Um, the control panel itself has 39 total buttons plus two rotary axes. It um, has plenty of clearance between the throttle and the unit itself, so long as you mount it high enough. The button to switches are exactly as you come to know. Uh, these are the two rotary axes. Um, these are your push button and coder dials. And then you got the two uh, emergency switches here at the top, which interestingly enough, they only uh, register in the up position here. Um, however, they in the software, you do see the physical button when you push these down, they will register, but they're not configured that way uh, by default. So I guess you could do that uh, post configuration if you wanted to, but by default, they're just you click them up uh, for one binding a piece. Uh, if you're going to be mounting it on your grip side, make sure you mount it high enough to get clearance from your throttle here. As you can see, it's my little secondary trigger button because pretty close. I don't know about the Alpha. The Alpha has a little bit more lean forward, but it is a shorter grip uh, for clearance. Uh, total, when you um, set this up on your throttle, though, you have 99 total buttons with the control panel and the throttle now. Um, which works quite nicely with SAR Citizen since they've recently removed the 50 button limit and it's now 100 possible bindings per device. 
Anyway, that pretty much covers everything. Um, we'll leave the review to the professionals. You know, Jesse the Snake Eater and uh, Nubifire, they usually cover this hardware very thoroughly, and, and my props to those guys. They do a very good job with that sort of stuff, and I am certainly no professional when it comes to this. But I did want to get a, a quick tutorial out there just for the setup because it wasn't very straightforward, and it doesn't exactly come with directions. Other than that, um, I'm looking forward to the control panel number two coming out. Um, I'm going to buy that as soon as it's released, and I'm going to put that on my grip side to finish my, uh, my complete setup here. Anyway, that's it. I don't have anything else. Uh, Turd Peterson, signing off.